You dropped down in a very heated Popeye's discussion. <laughs> oh. Have you had it yet? No. <laughs> they were telling it. Isn't that the one that they announced a while ago and then they didn't have it and yep. people yeah. sued? And <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to start. How, how have the guys responded since the Washburn game the other night in practice? Oh, I think we've been fine. I, I you know, we were just a little disappointed that uh, we weren't more ready to play. I, I, you know, I hate to always say the second exhibition game, you, you know, but it, it, it's it's happened before, and and that's why I think with an older team, I've always done the or tried to do the exhibition in one scrimmage, just to kind of keep you know keep them focused. And uh, we just thought this year with a younger team, we needed to have dress rehearsals, and in the long run, maybe it's good to you know. They realize that, that you have to play at a high level all the time. It doesn't matter who you're playing, and you got to get ready to play. So it's, uh, you know, we we've been fine. They they you know they're ready to go, and it, it should. We have a, a tough week. North Dakota State is uh, very good. Um, you know, I, I laughed and joked about it. That, like when we scheduled them, they were in the middle of packing their league. I think overall they were maybe 11 and 15 or something like that. And then they went on a huge run and won their tournament and shot 50% from three in the tournament and uh, beat North Carolina Central in the NCAA tournament the NCAA tournament and then played Duke and actually played Duke really well for about half and then Duke decided they did not want to go home and raise their level and, and kind of took over the game but uh, they got they they have experience and they're old, you know and they're old I think that's two things that they have uh, great point guard play he's 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 really good um, Duke tried to do some things and he just he just took him, and and you know we we saw that in many games last year uh, that he he could do it against their league teams, but he did it against an elite team also. And then their three man is very versatile, kind of old school post up, kind of that old school three you used to get those slasher athletes that could do a lot of different things. And then they spread you out and shoot a lot of threes. I mean, and they had the the, the, the young man came off the bench last year and in their tournament shot over fifty percent and. And I think six in one of the games, and and that was a player off the bench. So it, they their five man shoots threes, uh, that puts you in another bind. Uh, so they 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 can get you spread out, and uh, we're gonna have to. Uh, we showed Duke's defense when they picked it up, and they they really pressured them, didn't let them do their, you know, just walk into their stuff, and and I think that's gonna be a key tomorrow. Uh, Bruce, I was going to ask both the players, like, are, are you happy that the two exhibitions went the way they did just in terms of you got the one game where you play really well and you win easily and the other one you struggle a bit more but you still come out? Yeah, I mean, you, you always look for positives. And like I said earlier, when you, you know, the first game, I they surprised me, I'll be honest. I mean, how well they played and especially the young guys, you know, you get – uh, 26 and 16 or whatever it was from those two young uh, power forwards you know you're doing pretty well and 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 that was our big question mark and then uh second game just it just didn't have you know we needed to this to be a little more excited a little more playing a little harder and you know so it was it's a great way to learn you know we watched a lot of it on film and that's why you have these to you know see yourself against somebody else against different schemes and you know we didn't attack very well we didn't take care of the ball very well and and then we didn't probably play as hard as we needed to so it's a, hopefully they learn from it that's that's what you know you have to do as as a you know early in the season learn grow and get better and, uh, you know, you, you watch our football team a month ago, you know, or six weeks ago, no one was going to be excited talking about, oh, we're going to play in a championship game. And they, they weren't scoring touchdowns. But over that month time, they they obviously improved and got better and, and had the huge win and, you know, now went on and won. So it's, it's just – it's part of it. I, I think for me, I have to be a little more patient because uh, the last two years um, we've had everyone back. And they knew what was going on, what to expect, how hard you have to go, how how you have to practice, and and this year we have to do uh, a little more teaching um, and a little more uh, helping them understand the preparation, how important it is. 
Sean still going to be suspended right now, moving forward? Like, what's the timeline? He's, he's, we'll see what happens with him. We'll make a decision here in, you know, sometime here in the next week or so. Could you always talk about the freshman and learning the process of you know, scouting reports yeah. and all that kind of stuff that goes with it? I understand you're just going into the first game, but. How do they handle it so far? Well, I think the big thing is they it overloads them. You know, it, it's practice is no longer fun and exciting. It's you have to think and you. Have, but I keep telling them that's where you develop your habits in practice, and then when you go to the game, now you just go play and you should see things. Um, you know, we had Jordy Nelson come and talk, and he talked about, you know, when the game slows down for you, you know, when you see the coverage and you know the read you're supposed to make as a receiver, and the quarterback goes back and he gets to the line and he knows what what he's looking for, and you, and that's what you hope happens, you know, over the course of time through film, uh, whether it's how we're guarding something or how we're attacking something, what you're looking for, and then, you know, it's it's. You would think that they always, everyone always says that you get in that zone, you, the game slows down for you. It's really probably the other way. It goes fast, but you're able to react much better because you see what's going on. And uh, I think that's that's the biggest thing they have right now. They're we got a couple of them. They're just overloaded. That you know that smoke's coming out, and not only their ears, nostrils, you know, everywhere. It's just uh, you know they have to learn to adjust and figure it out. You got a road game right out the gate with a young team. What made you go that route? I I thought we needed to play a road game, and um, I, I you know you got if you're going to win on the road in the league, you got to have a game, and it just happens our our Big East game was going to be a home game. Uh, we had some neutral games just in the scheduling of it all. Uh, it just worked out date wise. I'm not sure it's good or bad. Um, if you look, if you remember, look back to that Georgia game when Dean and those guys were freshmen. It was very early, and we found a way to win. Um, I think it's a good teaching lesson and and figuring out how. And then you know, then you go to Florida. It's it's neutral, but it's still you're away from home, and you got to learn to prepare. So I, I just thought it was good for us and and. Uh, you know, probably Saturday late afternoon. I might not feel that way, but right now I, I think it's it's all about learning, and growing as a team. That's what we got to really focus on. Bruce, if, if I guess the expectation is that, that Sean isn't available for some amount of time, what does that mean for that rotation there? Guard, you already told Cardi and Mike, there's been playing more minutes. Does it mean David's going to be rushed? Well, I mean, they really minute minutes. We haven't, other than Xavier, they're not going to 30 or whatever, 30 mm -hmm. some. You know, it's been pretty balanced and. Um, you know, and, and I probably hindsight wish would have got David a few more minutes in that second half. And the Cardi had foul trouble in the first half, and then he got going a little bit. He, we need him to get going. It, it's it's all new for all of them. You know, Xavier has become has to be the leader, and and he's got to learn. You know, you, you you don't have to try to do everything to be the leader. You just got to be really solid and. Volko and help him. Cardi's got to learn that it's, it's, uh, you know, now the ball is in his hands, but he's got to make all the right plays. You know, Max got to, you know, he wants to do more, but you can't do too much. So it, it it's new for them. It's new for the other guys. Um, you know, like I said, we, we just got to we got to kind of slowly but surely blend things together. But the biggest thing is we got to play hard all the time, and and that, and if they'll do that, it'll give us a chance. Do you know when Nigel or James might be? Uh, Nigel's probably a little quicker than James, and uh, you know I'm hoping um, sometime I would say late November, early December for Nigel, and then James probably middle of December or a little later. We'll just see. If it happens to be a competitive game throughout in game one, how it is going to be yeah. competitive <laughs> throughout. I, I I'd be shocked if it wasn't. How deep do you think you would go in a, in a competitive game? Oh, I think you one? you probably played nine ten guys you're gonna have to I mean it's just you know and I and again I thought after what we probably pushed Xavier a little far for early in the year um, and then talking to our guys uh, after three or four of them you know we were watching film and they said coach I kind of hit a I was tired I hit a wall well tell us that you know so then we get you out don't rest on the court and some of that's game conditioning and that you have to go through but we'll have to do a if they play well, it makes it easier for us to sub. That's the big thing. And you know, if they if if guys are playing well, now you're 
you know, you're, you, and you always go with guys you trust that are usually have experience and older, especially, as you said, if it's competitive to end the end of the game, you want the guys that have been there before, hopefully making the right plays. And then who is, who is given the scout uh, among the coaches for, for game one? Uh, it's Coach Lowry's out this time. You know, they just rotate the three guys, um, and then the other co the other grad assistants kind of, uh, you know, blend in and help with the video and stuff with them. Um, so I think it's – I'm pretty sure it's it's Coach Lowry, Coach Korn as Vegas, and then Coach Henderson as uh, the next game after that. So they just kind of rotate throughout. Bruce, we've asked you so much about like Xavier, Cardi, and, and Matt having to go on bigger roles with the three grad. But like, what have you seen? Have you seen like what you want to from Mike? Obviously he's probably, he's probably well, if, Mike's is second on play hard behind Xavier, and he's ten to two assist turnovers. But he's got to make some open shots, and 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 I thought he guarded well. I thought he gave great pressure on the ball. He's going to have to guard some point guards uh, and big physical point guards. I don't think he can, he's not good with a quick little one. Uh, but you know he, you know I, I really believe uh, that. You know, I don't know if you guys saw the thing Coleman put out about the teams in the top of the league have defensive stoppers and guys on the all defensive team. And and so, you know, I, I really feel good about Xavier. Uh, he should be should have been there last year. I don't think people understood how good he was. And it probably my fault for promoting Barry as much as I did and not. But I wanted to make sure Barry won that defensive player of the year. Um, and then, you know, I, who are the next guys going to be? I, I, Mac is really good defensively as a big guy. It's just, you know, you don't see it all the time because it's in ball screens and he does he does all the things you need to do. Um, but Mike could definitely be a he, – he takes pride in it and he can, you know, he can do some of those things. Um, you know, I think Dejuan, as he goes on, will be a good defender. He's long, athletic. Um and actually, Montavious has picked up scouting reports faster than probably the other guys. So we'll we'll see what happens with that. How has uh, David Sloan come along defensively since he's got healthier in the last? Uh, year it's 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 it'll take some time, yeah. and you know we we keep telling him, look at your numbers offensively, they're good, but if you mm -hmm. you know if you don't guard, you, you know we're gonna have to r really watch your minutes and. Uh, you know, so I think that's – and that's part of – again, it's all new to them. It's new habits. And, and you can say, well, you've been practicing well, but you go against yourself. You don't see yourself on a – you know, in, in front of people and the lights on, all that stuff. And now you – you know, you learn from that. And um, he's got to push himself Steve, to another level. Page one was a little better in the second game in terms of just not pressing as much? Yeah, I think so. And, you know, his – actually, his plus minus is the best on the team. Um, you know, he just kind of – he's going to be one of those guys who does a little bit of everything, uh, you know, and, and – uh, he does, he's got to learn a, Nate, a lot of it. Even Cardi, you don't have to make a play every time you touch the ball. Sometimes the best play you can make is pass it ahead so somebody else gets an opportunity. Um, and that's – I think that's what, you know, he – you know, again, like I said earlier, they all, it's not going to be as easy as they all think it is. And you got to figure it out and earn it, and, and that comes over time. Do you like the early start? Tuesday kickoff. I don't. Um, I'm okay with it. Their their big thing was uh, stay away from the weekend so we get some publicity. That's why the NCAA did it. The NBA does it. They start on Tuesday, Wednesday. May everybody, you know, if you play on Friday, you got all the football games. They don't even talk about you. So now this it, it this is the main reason they did it on a a weeknight just to see if we can um, get a little more attention early. Um, and then I think for us, schedule-wise, it gives us, although we don't have much time for Vegas, but it, as you go down, it spreads out more games, and that allows us hopefully a little more practice time. How key will Levi be? He's got to get us going. He's got to get going. I gave him a chance to start. You know, he got fouls. He leads us in fouls again. You know, he's he says 
they're bad calls, but they keep making bad calls, I guess. So it, it you know, it's just, you know, it, he's got a, and he got a couple cheap ones in that game. And, but he, the whole thing is I told Cardi too, you know, you can't get a reach 75 feet from the hoop and then you already got one. Now you got to sit with me, you know, that they got to be smart and learn how to do that. But I, I need, and I bragged to you guys how good he had, he had done early summer, everything. And, and we need, we need him to get going. His motor's got to be turned up and he's got to give us something if we're going to be successful. Bruce, I'm sorry, this is kind of a stupid question, but I mean, does the success of the football team, how much does that maybe help you guys with recruits when they, when they come on? These I, I, you know, yeah, I mean, well, office. yeah, it, it, it was obviously we had somebody here for Oklahoma, we had, um, which was positive. You know, a lot of people are watching. You talk to kids, oh, you know, because it was the leadoff on yeah. Sports Center. So even if you're not there, you're paying attention. Oh, it helps. Great, it's it's great publicity. Um, you know, happy for coach and uh, you know, but he knows. Uh, I texted with him the other day, and you know, obviously Kansas was. Really important win for him, but they've got four tough ones coming up. And uh, but right now they're on a pretty good roll, and see what happens Saturday. How good has Jermaine been as a recruiter? Jumping up, piggyback. You know he's got experience. He's great. If you've been around him, he talks to anybody. He'll talk to the wall. He'll talk to <laughs> the door. He doesn't matter. You can. And I, he's talked to me, and I've walked away, and he keeps talking. So I, I know he talks to walls. So um, I mean, he just—he's a people person, and he's got connections. He's been around the game, um, so he's got that, you know, just compassion and passion, passion for the game, compassion for people, and I think that always helps. Um, with Snead being back, what do you think his legacy will be for basketball here, and what impressions do you think? leave on those that fall well you know one he's a outstanding young man and you know business school business he'll have his degree um which is which is a mouthful uh, it's not easy and and but he you know i think the legacy will be told what he does now you know he he's been part of really special things but now it's his turn and, and that doesn't mean he has to be a superstar, but he has to help us win. Um, he has to be a great leader and, and have a – I want him to have an efficient year. If he has an efficient year, he's good. He The other night, he played so hard. I mean, he just, you know, he busts his butt. 14 on the play hard, double-double, 10, 10 and 10. But I think he was so wound up. Now you go to free throw line. You know, you go to camp, they talk about routine and relaxation. He was not relaxed. Those, you know, six for 10, you know, four turnovers. He can't, He's he's got to have a great pace, great efficiency. And, and I think he can be one of the better players in the league.